The human body is a work in progress, but it is a wonder that is able to adapt, overcome adverse situations, and continuously evolve. Not only that, we have the ability to share knowledge and learn from failed experiences. And my next guest, Aurora Labs, envisions a future where machines will also be able to adapt and evolve. And they've developed an innovative self-healing software for connected cars. And here to tell us exactly what this entails is Zoal Fox, founder and CEO of Aurora Labs. Welcome. Hello, hi. So let's jump right in. What exactly does Aurora Labs do? We develop an AI machine uh, that learns the behavioral of lines of code within the vehicle itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe that uh, intelligent and uh, smart uh, and, and independent uh, vehicles that is going to be in our streets very soon, mm -hmm. they need the self-healing capabilities uh, to recover from malfunctioning and take care of the safety and security of the passengers. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about today's world and the world of autonomous vehicles, connected cars. What can you tell me about this industry? So basically what we see is a great trend. Uh, OEMs, traditional uh, OEMs, uh, have to, uh, to reinvent themselves. In uh, less than a decade, uh, they, we see a great shift coming from uh, Uber and Lyft to take a control about the fleets itself mm -hmm. and the, the entire stream of, re of revenues will come to them. So the traditional uh, car makers are looking for a way how to be relevant in the upcoming uh, few, near, uh, few years. And the idea is to create a mobility services so they can create now re a new revenue stream mm -hmm. and then to develop themselves into new uh, technologies and uh, offering to their users. So what are the main challenges though facing connected cars that Aurora help, you know, it tries to find a solution for? So basically uh, a software within the vehicle is uh, a great component. So okay. we have the steerings, we have mechanics, we have uh, uh, displays, etc. But software is a component. 40% uh, of a vehicle is a software. 40% of the vehicle yes. is software. Yes, yes. This is amazing. Uh, and on regular vehicles, we have 100 million lines of code. So a programming write a new application, so we have a line of code. Mm -hmm. uh, so on a vehicle, there is about 100 million lines of code. And on Boeing 787, the Dreamliner, only 8 million lines of code. So you <laughs> see the great compl wow. uh, yes, complexity that we have on a vehicle. Yeah. So we have a lot of vulnerabilities. The complexity brings a lot of insights and great uh, uh, services uh, for the users. However, it brings a lot of vulnerabilities in aspects of software management, cybersecurity, wrong parameters, software bugs as we have in our cell phones. Mm -hmm. So this is the great challenge right now that we have uh, with connected vehicles. And so where does Aurora come in? Can you tell us a little bit about self-healing software? What is that exactly? Yeah, so again, if we will go back to the software and the lines of code that build the software component mm -hmm. itself, so what we build an AI that learn the behavioral and uh, the relationship between the lines of code that bring the entire application into the vehicle itself. Mm -hmm. And to do so, uh, we build a system that uh, is like the immune system within our body. So we have a detectors that looking for these vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and uh, these uh, uh, malfunctioning software. And once we detect a problem, now we can actually take action. We can recover, we can delete and kill bad processes, and we can self-heal the vehicle and maintain the uptime of the critical safety systems. So this is all about self-healing software. And I mean, looking to the future, you envision a world where machines will be able to you know, adapt and heal. To what extent? I mean, where are we today and how far into the future do we have to be to have this vision realized? Um, this is a great question. Uh, Aurora Labs uh, started to work in automotive space. However, we started to work with uh, uh, tier ones in the area of home and appliances as well. Mm -hmm. We just introduced uh, uh, different solutions uh, into uh, televisions, microwaves, washing machines, robots, industrial 4.0. IoT devices with software that is running and connected to the internet has its own vulnerabilities. The idea that we can monitor the health of these IoT devices or robots yeah. uh, within the uh, manufacturing processes and we can detect a problem and now we can self-heal or recover from these malfunction software. Mm -hmm. So the idea again is to maintain the uptime of these safety systems or mm -hmm. critical systems 
so we will have a better service as the users. Okay, and I have to ask, Aurora is a very unusual name. Can you tell me a little bit, is there a story behind this name? Yes, uh, well, uh, so I started with, uh, uh, well, I have three kids and uh, basically we've seen uh, different uh, characters coming from Disney and my daughter told me Aurora, 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 so it was... Sleeping Beauty. Yes, exactly. Right. And then we started to think maybe Aurora uh, 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 technologies uh, in these areas. However, when we, we started this venture, we understood in the beginning that we will be in different sectors like drones, IoT devices, etc. So mm -hmm. this is why we named it Aurora Labs, so we can expand in our mindset for different uh, 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 ideas and technologies and services, mm -hmm. this is the idea. And what stage are you in now? Are you already working in vehicles? Are you, is your software already implemented in vehicles? Yeah, so we started two years ago with the proof of concepts in German market, the US and in Asia, and we already switched gears into serious production uh, to be introduced during 2021. Great. Yes, so it's very exciting. Well, Zoel, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you.